my book draws upon work that I've done with Black LGBTQ plus youth since um, going back to about 2010. It includes data from two separate research studies that I uh, conducted uh, with these young folks, as well as drawing upon my volunteer and advocacy work uh, with Black queer youth in community spaces and my work as a teacher educator who um, te prepares teachers for urban classrooms and has helped teachers think about how to shape their practices in ways that serve the needs of Black queer youth. Uh, my book is driven by two main questions. How do Black queer youth navigate a range of pedagogical contexts in their quests for knowledge and belonging? And what are the implications of these experiences for educational and community-based pra practitioners committed to what I call queerly responsive pedagogy? So one of the big contributions I see from my book is how I use culturally responsive pedagogy as a framework for what I'm calling queerly responsive pedagogy, um, which uh, it centers queerness in its approach to um, serving the needs of young people from minoritized backgrounds. And I can talk later if people are interested about the four components to queerly responsive pedagogy that I described. Um, and so each chapter draws upon that framework to think about um, sort of different aspects of the educational experiences of Black queer youth. And my hope is that my book will help people bring intersectional uh, um, lenses to their understanding of who queer youth are and that they uh, will help people center the agency that queer youth of color, black queer youth, other young people bring um, to their own educational experiences.